I welcome His Excellency, Mr. Ambassador, Mr. Walid Abu Ali, to deliver the maiden speech for tonight. Tafadon. All right. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa salatu wa salamu ala khatim al-anbiya'i wal mursaleen. Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Brother Luqman, Luqman Sharif. Brother Swardi of my Aqsa. Brother Azril Muhammad Amin. Brother Datu Rahmat Muhammad. My dear brothers in Palestine, Mr. Walid Asaf, former minister, Mr. Ammar Hjazi, and Dr. Mahataz Kofisha, with a, this very special day today, on behalf of the Palestinian Embassy in Kuala Lumpur, I'm honored and grateful to convey through this webinar my sincere appreciation, the gratitude and respect for the esteemed brotherly government of Malaysia and its great nation for their constant, steadfast and unwavering support and for their generous and noble efforts to tighten and strengthen the bilateral and historical relations that bond our two countries and two nations. This relationship that has not been and will never be affected by the succession of the government, but rather it becomes stronger and more solid, especially when the sense of danger arises for what the state of Palestine is ex uh, exposed to and in terms of conspiracious and evil agendas hatched by the Israeli occupation. Depending on the strong bilateral Palestinian-Malaysian relationship, Palestine was entered the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. And is this would not have been possible without the generous contribution extended by the brotherly government and people of Malaysia to the government and people of Palestine. During the difficult times, in light of the suffering from the Israeli occupation, so I am very much pleased to express my sincere appreciation for Malaysia that is always ready to provide help and support when the need arises. This solidarity gives us hope and encouragement that Israeli military occupation will have an end sooner or later. It is worth mentioning that since uh, assuming my duties as ambassador of the state of Palestine to Malaysia, my AXA foundation has not hesitated to show its desire to work hand in hand and shoulder to shoulder with the embassy to arrange so many activities in so many different fields. Whether these activities are humanitarian through distributing aids and charity to our Palestinian people during the COVID-19 or religious by inviting imams and ulamas from Palestine like the uh, imams of Al-Aqsa Mosque, like Sheikh Akram Sabri, who was hosted by my Aqsa in Malaysia. The, com the combined comprehensive efforts among the Palestinian leadership, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and expatriates of the state of Palestine, the embassy and my Aqsa Foundation have played a major role in achieving remarkable and tremendous progress that culminated by the International Criminal Court ICC pre-trial chamber decision issued on the 5th of February. 
recognizing the state of Palestine as a state party to the Rome Statute and the ICC has territorial jurisdiction in the territory of the state of Palestine. Dear brothers, ladies and gentlemen, we believe that this victory is an important milestone on the long path towards justice and accountability. It will openly shed light on the situation in Palestine that has been marked by the lack of accountability for uh, crimes of the Israeli Zionist regime and its systematic ethnic cleansing policies against the Palestinians and the people, the civilian people in Palestine. Most importantly, this decision creates an important potential for future crimes since it gives the right to the court to investigate, persecute, and punish any crime and atrocities against the Palestinians, including each and all of the war crimes and crimes against the humanity under the jurisdiction, as well as it will secure justice for victims, further criminal actions, and underline the court's objectives, uh, commitment to the law and criminal accountability. Together, we will continue to struggle for justice, freedom, independence, and self-determination until they are fully achieved, sparing no effort in pursuing all available legal and diplomatic avenues to protect Palestinians' nationals, national rights. Confront all plans of aggression and continue to act in line with international law to defend the Palestinians' just cause under the umbrella of the international law. Dear brothers, we meet today while snow falls on Palestine, covering its holy land and sites with the magic white winter dress. We meet, although all uh, ministers in Palestine are closed due to the special weather conditions, but the freedom fighters like Walid Asaf, like Mu'taz Kafisha, like Amar Hjazi, and many others who are struggling on the ground to defend our civilian people to achieve our dream in having an independent Palestinian state in our historical land in Palestine. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to speak to you all.